Hello everyone. I am Dharam Ladkat. Welcome see all to this subject effective technical communication. As we know, we are moving with the module number 3 that is technical communication. As we have discussed in the previous videos, the first topic that is public speaking and the two main topic of the public speaking that we have covered that is the content. What is public speaking that you have to give the speech among a live audience then the what you have to do while preparing for the public speaking that first you have to decide what to speak that means the content that we have covered and next the delivery of the speech there are many various methods that we have discussed in the delivery of the speech so the first topic that is public speaking that we have covered in the previous video of module number 3 today we are going to have the new topic that is group discussion you have heard this name in the sequence or in the procedure of your interview so the word group discussion first of all what is it here you can see the two word group and the discussion where group is the collection of individuals who have regular content or frequent interaction and who work together to achieve a common set of goal this group of members have common set of goals and the second word of the group discussion is discussion which is the process wherein two or more people exchange their information or ideas in a face to face situation to achieve a goal now the group members have same goals and when they discuss among themselves to achieve that goal and the two word combines that means group and discussion and forms the new word that is group discussion the goal or the end product may be increased of the knowledge agreement leading to action disagreement leading to the competition or the resolution or you may say the perhaps only the clearing of the air there may be any of the reason of this group discussion here we are learning for the purpose of the interview so here what is that that we have discussed the two word group and the discussion merges and give the group discussion how gd conducted we have heard the name we also have some knowledge basic knowledge about the gd but how actually it is conducted so in this method there are usually 7 to 12 participants in a group then the group of the candidate this group 7 to 12 groups of candidate is given a topic or a situation which could be either factual or abstract or some case based study and typically given some time to think and make the notes about the same sometimes also the more time is given to make the notes if it is the higher organization they may give the more time after this after giving the time the group of the candidate is then asked to discuss in the topic among themselves for the specific duration the duration of this exchange of the word is around 10 to 40 minutes which may vary from the organization to other organization this is based on the organization what they prefer how many candidates they allowed for example 7 to 12 they allowed 10 candidates etc also they vary the time some gives the 15 minutes or some gives the 30 minutes so it differ from the organization to organization while the group discussion the pertaining issues at hand the panelist silently observe the each candidate on various predominant parameters here they observe for example panelist observe on various parameters this parameters we will discuss that means the quality that we will discuss in the upcoming step they observe the each and every candidates for the, uh, for the predominant parameters so the panelist assign and then the panelist assign the scores to every candidate based on his or her individual performance as well as how he performed within the group so the main here the main thing is to how he or she perform in the group because this the name itself insists that it is the group discussion not only you have to speak you have to allow other participate to speak and give their reviews we can relate this group discussion with the game that means the football it is similar to the group discussion where you play like a team in the football you ca you can observe that they have to play like a team passing the ball to each team members in aim the aim to a common goal they pass each and every members a ball 
to set a goal he have to set that ball that ball football in the goal so gd is also based on the teamwork in incorporating views of different team members to reach a common goal so the group discussion refers to the communicative situation that allows as participants to share their views or opinions with other participants thus in the simple word we can say that the gd is a systematic exchange of the information views or you may say opinions about the topic problem issues that have given by the panelist who share some common objectives this group member share their common objective so this is what is group discussion and how it is conducted now next is why gd is important we have heard the name we have heard the procedure now why it is important to study and why it is conducted in the organization so it helps to evaluate whether a candidate is a right fit for the organization they can observe mainly this type of the activity is done where the work is divided into groups where the work is divided into groups and so it is necessary to have the candidate like to uh, that is that may fit in the group so it is very much important in such organization it helps to assess how a participant perform under different situations in a group again the word group came it helps to judge how one conceptualized and conceptualize his ideas through the discussion it also helps in analyzing the candidate's attitude towards the fellow members here you can see as we have discussed the group discussion the not only we have to speak but we have also allow other participant to give their reviews so the pa participant attitude here what matters the participants attitude towards their fellow members through one's communication also interpersonal skills listening abilities humility and tolerance to other ideas and also why it is important it helps in shading light of candidates leadership or managerial skills what the panelists mostly observe the leadership qualification in each and every member that is the basic observation by the panelist also how the candidate solve the problems aptitude creative thinking in which candidate there is a creative thinking and the knowledge of diverse topic so this is why the gd is important in the organization now as we have discussed as i have said the qualities evaluated by the employers or you may say the panelists during the group discussion which quality they see first and the main is the knowledge of the topic as we have discussed they give the topic or the situation or or you may say the current affair so this is how the knowledge of the topic they observe you will be able to speak with conviction in the group discussion only if you have in depth knowledge of the topic if you have only that in depth knowledge of that topic then and then only you can speak it freely you should be able to grasp and analyze the situation at a deeper level you must have your original view point and suggestions to be able to participate in the group discussions successfully it is always advisable to keep yourself updated about your surrounding this is much more important as we are saying to read daily the newspaper or to have the news in the tv because that keeps us updated about our surrounding this will help you to speak something about the topic and the rest you can gauge from others see taking initiative problem solving and creativity etc are required in professional life and that can be shown in the group discussion but this will only be possible if you have a proper knowledge and understanding of the topic you can initiate you can solve the problem or you can say the your creativity but this is only possible if you have the proper knowledge the first quality they observe is the knowledge second is the communication skill during a group discussion various communication skills they evaluate first is the verbal communication skills you are expected to use the right words with correct sentence 
construction they first observe that you are saying the right words with the correct correct grammar if you are able to see the error free language then it becomes easy for other members of the group to understand your point and it can be easy for the other members also for the panelist second skill they observe is the non verbal communication skills we know that what is non verbal the communication without using words is the non verbal communication they also observe that you must use correct body language throughout the discussion like straight posture correct gesture making the eye contact with each and every members the eye contact we have learn in the etiquettes you have to make with all the members nodding your head by listening and using the appropriate facial expression you have to continuously give the smile throughout that 10 to 15 minutes this help you to gain the positive response from the other third quality they observe is the listening skill you cannot continue the discussion without listening to others it is important to either take the forward the point of the previous speaker if you agree or put your point mentioning how and why you differ from the previous speaker this is how you have to create a thread of thoughts and weave theme to come to the conclusion you cannot put your independent thoughts without considering what has already been said so this is the third listening skill you have to listen properly each and every members or the candidates of the group and last communication skill they observe is the clarity of the thought how clear you are about your thought can be shown using intonation and the voice modulation so you have to clear by using various intonations and the voice modulation so this are the four basic communication skill they observe during the group discussion third skill they observe is the group behavior how one react is in the group is shown by the ability to interact with other members while doing so emotionally maturity is required so for to be good in the group the emotionally maturity is required you must be able to remain objective empathetic and mature you must neither dominate the group nor get dominated by the others you must respect each and every members views and try to cooperate and coordinate with everyone smoothly also being able to listen to all equally is also a desirable good group behavior and the last and the fourth quality they observe is the leadership potential any group cannot carry on its task without a leader as we have discussed they mainly observe the leadership potential in each and every candidate a leader is one who leads everyone towards the goal the employers look for the leadership quality in you during the group discussion because in spite of no appointed leaders the candidates who have this quality will emerge as leaders where can you show your leadership quality now if you have leadership quality but where you show it a leader is a initiator has knowledge emotional stability objectivity communication skills you have control over your mind is a motivator and a decision maker also at the end of the group discussion you have to give the conclusion if you give that it is also shows the leadership potential by starting and ending the discussion you can show you are initiator or the discussion maker also in the group discussion by encouraging the encouraging the silent members to speak up you can show that you are a motivator thus you can get the opportunity to show your leadership qualities at a different point of time in the group discussion so these are the main four qualities that observed by the panelist which are they the leadership quality group behavior communication skills and the first one is the knowledge of the topic this four point you have to keep in mind while moving in into the group discussion so this is all about the group discussion where around 7 to 10 participants communicate or discuss on a topic given by the panelist at on around 10 to 40 minutes which differ from the organization to organization this is all about the group discussion more topics of module number 3 that is technical communication can be discussed in the upcoming videos thank you